Okay, we've seen how to expand a uh, bracket, which is of the form of 1 plus x. Sorry, my pen's just touching the wrong button on the pen. We've been able to expand that using the formula that's in the formula booklet, uh, using the formula booklet page 2, um, or the, the P2 section. There's this formula. We saw how to use that. The question, and remember that x part. So to extend that to the problem of when I've got 2 plus 3x to the minus 2, what we need to think about is I want to make it look like this. I want a 1 to start with. So what I want to do is I want to factor out the 2. To factor out the 2, though, I've got to remember to divide all of this by 2, and that gets applied to the same power. Okay, so I'm going to factor out the 2. First of all, 2 to the 1 plus 3 over 2x. That's inside a bracket, so this would expand to give the bracket. And all of this is to the power of minus 2. So if we now take these values out, we have squared to the minus, that's a quarter, and it's a quarter times the expansion of the rest of the bracket, the 1 plus 3, 2 x. So what I've actually done is I've distributed the power of minus 2 to both parts inside the bracket. Okay. So now I have a bracket to the minus 2. So the part we've got to expand now is this piece, and that's the same exercise as we were doing yesterday. Uh, I'll leave that, and I'll fill it in in a few minutes so we can see it. Um, the other part of the lesson is actually, what does this do to do change this function? So the general form if we do a plus b x to the power of n, we took a bracket out with the a and 1 plus b over a to the x. So we divided both uh, these terms by a and then multiplied by it outside. And that's all to the power of n. We distribute it. To the x to the n. And now, for our approximate, the valid approximations, we want this whole term over here, this section here is our x above. All these x's are actually this b over ax. So this b over ax modulus must be less than 1. And that is so that it leads to converging sequence. That's the theory of what you need for the whole of this next chapter, section 4.2. I'll just quickly jot this in. Uh, I don't think there's any real problems with doing the expansion. Um, let's just show where these parts came from. So quickly going through, uh, minus 2 comes from the n that we're doing. I've got a quarter times all of this bracket. The value of x is the 3 over 2. So now I've got an n, n minus 1, the 2 factorial, or 2, and x squared. We've got the n, the n minus 1, n minus 2, the factorial term, and the x cubed. So that's where those parts all came from. And <coughs> what I'm going to do now is just look through quickly for what's the powers, what's the values. So I'm going to quit, do jottings next to my work, where this bond becomes negative. Actually, I'll do it underneath as another expression. So I'll do it line by line with you. I'll put it in and then I'll put go through the line. 
So I'll close the brackets. So if I was to cancel the twos, the twos cancel. The sign ch changes the sign on the outside, and we have just the three x left. And to get the twenty seven x squared, the two factorial cancels with the two. 3x squared is going to give me 9x squared over 4. I'm missing a divide by 4 here. Yes, yes, I'm missing divide by 4 in my answer. So the cancel, and we're left with the minus 3 times that gives me a minus 3 times the minus 2. That's a positive. 3 times the 9 is 27 over 4. So to cancel to give the 27 first of all cubed, we've got 27x cubed over 8. The 3 remember is 3 times 2. We've got a minus and a minus they cancel to make a positive and the 3 times the 2 gets rid of the first two terms. So we now got minus 4 times 28 over 7 so that's a negative 27 over 2 x cubed. And the final part for this fraction, we simplify it all, put everything over a quarter. So we've got a quarter minus 3 quarters x plus 27 over 16 x squared minus 27 over 8 x cubed. And the expression keeps going. And if we remember the rule above, we also need to say from my expression, what is the uh, valid region for expansion? So it's valid if we say the B over A. B over A is less than 1. And in this case, we've got B is 3, A is 2. Yeah, I missed the x out. 3 halves x is less than 1, so x is valid up to 2 thirds. Okay? Not including. That's the end.